Welcome back out to another one of our standout students as I'm joined, joined here with a junior from Cotopaxi School. And we're joined with uh, Valeria Amanda Fajis Zuniga. I got it. I'm, I'm so happy right now because, uh, first of all, thank you so much, Valeria, for talking with us. And you are a junior, as I said, here at Cotopaxi School. How's the year going for you? It's actually really good for this year. Being junior is very stressful, but I think it's going well. Talk a little bit about the classes. We, we got a lot to talk about here, but talk about your classes that you're taking so far this year and some of the ones you're enjoying. I'm taking pre-calc. That I actually enjoy the class. The teacher is very good at it. And then I'm taking also English 4. I really, really enjoy that class. And then I'm taking college prep. That it really helped us with getting prepared for everything. And I guess I'm just taking an AP class on U.S. history. A lot of branches there as far as what you're taking. You said English is one that really stands out to you as, as a favorite class. And you've had to learn English as a second language. Has that tied into to you really enjoying that class a little bit more? Actually, yes. It's because we learn English from basics. It's just learning from how to say dog to how to use the verbs. So I guess it's easier for me because I already know all the rules because we got it before. I guess the rules are get easier for me and I get the class very easily. College prep, that's another interesting class because it's really preparing you for the future. What's it like being in that class? In that class, I really like it because even though we're not really doing like real real stuff professional stuff we might doing the basics for it it really helps us us to have a view of how the world is gonna be how prepared we need to be to take it (laughs) well and you said that class kind of ties into the AP US history class that you have too because some of the essays that you're having to write in that you can use some of the skills that you've gotten from the college prep class yeah in some of the resumes we learned that you should just put the essential parts of it so it helps me on the AP class because some of the essays we have to write is about like multiple documents like a lot of documents so it teaches to just take the central parts of the documents and write it better in a professional way and turn it in teaching wise it's there are certain teachers that really help you out a whole lot when you come into a school what are some of the things that you look for when you look for that 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 new face in the room i really like a teacher that is open-minded you know I'm from a different country, so they might have an opinion about a place, and I might have another one. I like a teacher that is patient, because maybe I don't understand something, or another kid doesn't get it, but he's patient and tries to get the kid to understand what he's trying to teach. Are there any teachers here at the school that have really epitomized that in your time here? I think Mr. Brown. Really, it's very diverse in that sense, and I really like it just because of that. Well, yeah, there's a lot of other stuff to do here at the school, and you're involved in a lot of those extracurricular events. What are some of the favorites that you've been participating in? I was a JV in volleyball, and I, I enjoy it a lot. And now I'm a manager for the boys in basketball. What are some of the lessons that you get out of being involved in athletics like that, beyond just the sport themselves? Because it's easy to pick up the, the skills for the sport, but has it taught you anything else? I think discipline. It's a main one. It teaches you how to organize like your whole schedule for the week. Helps you to turn in your things on times, have grade ups, and keep everything with a good grade. Well, you talk about high school as well. You mentioned you came here from a different country. What's it like trying to kind of get into the the flow of a new school from a new country? Especially, you were telling me that that the school you were going to was was different curriculum, different math, different really almost different metrics and and all that stuff. Yeah, because my old school was was a French school. It uses half of the French system and then the other half from the Costa Rican system. So it's really hard for me to pass from a place where they just teach everything in French to a school where it teaches everything in English. It was kind of hard at the start, but I mean, you get kind of used to after. And it helps a lot the fact that no one is translating for you because it's easier to learn the language. But I mean, it was kind of hard to get used to, even though the metric part on like math and all that. It was kind of hard passing from kilograms to pounds. I was like, no, not going to work. <laughs> These don't go together. This yeah. doesn't happen. Speaking of that, what's advice that you would give to somebody from that similar situation that would be coming to this school? How's the easiest way to deal with that? You know, I would just tell them, keep trying. It's frustrating at the start, not getting something or not being able to express yourself. But I think what it helps a lot is the teachers and the fact that you keep trying on it. And I mean, if there is someone that can help you, with the language problem or something like that, that's even better. But I mean, just don't give up. I think 
learning a new language is learning yourself again. So We'll wrap it up with this. You've gotten some time now to get used to this area and kind of get and, and, and enjoy the area. What are the things that, that you like about living here the most, though, now that you've come here? I really like the nature and the people, actually. They're very nice people. I like the type of living. It's just outside of the city and I really like that. It's a very open area. There is not much buildings around. You can just run around and explore. So I think it's it's a beautiful place and it has a lot of sports that you can practice because you're not enclosed with cities. Definitely keeps you busy. And Valeria, we appreciate you talking with us about what makes this special to you and good luck as you keep going through the, the junior year and into your senior year. Thank you.